what's up you all it's uh january 26 2021 we just drove through the neighborhoods to get up to highway 38 and we are just about here to begin the climb but i thought we'd go through the rest of the neighborhood together real quick and then uh yeah like it's like dusk time it's really pretty and I assure you we're, we're, we're gonna hit snow pretty soon here it's not gonna take long hey use the restroom sir just kidding I do that all the time yeah so I filled up with gas again at the bottom and I got a car wash feels a lot better. I had to go through the drive through wash. I couldn't find uh, on the way one of the do-it-yourself washes because I wanted to, to use that handheld sprayer and spray, spray, spray in between my wheels and stuff like that. But oh well. Yeah, guys, so as soon as you get, like, as soon as you start climbing on Highway 38, just, like, 
the other highway, it, we got snow, but you'll, you'll be okay. There's nothing in the roads right now. There's not gonna be anything in the roads till we come up here and make that big U-turn and head up towards Angeles Oaks. Some city lights out there. No, 
know if you guys can see that. Oh, we just missed it.
particular, this is Amsless Oaks, and definitely uh, make a lot of money over here by ticketing, but it's because they don't really have much much more over here. I'm not talking smack, I'm saying there's just really not much much over here that's generated you know, for, the, for the town. This is a little restaurant up here on the left with what used to be a gas station or like a gas pump. It still sits right there. It looks like the gas, there is gas there. That gas pump works. You gotta be kidding me. I had no idea. It's all lit up. So it's one gas pump just sitting there. That makes sense. They need to get gas somewhere out here. So that makes sense. Anyway, I hope you didn't blink because we just went right through Angeles Oaks. So we got 34 miles to go. So as I said, this this road, this route is a little bit longer for you guys, like six six or seven, eight miles longer. But I like it because for most of it, if you end up do having if you end up having an accident, for most of this, there's not like a huge thousands of foot drop like there is on 330 and 18 and stuff like that. So I mean there there still are some parts here that are pretty rough, but nothing like some of the scares that you get driving on the other side. And yes, we do hit the highest point though on this road. Right as we start, right before we start to descend back into the to Bear Valley, that's when we hit Onyx Summit. Look at how cold it is already. I don't, it might be colder than 12 degrees out there. It's probably going to be about 12 degrees. Oh, I bet this is a rock slide. wasn't good for me with all the butter and this and that but still uh the lobster sandwich man like, yeah, it's just a little pricey but damn it tastes good the french fries were amazing too you could tell they had fresh oil in there it was really good most of the lots of places that I, i've gotten fries up here it's like a week old freaking cooking oil is what it tastes like it's just just not not too appetizing. They do a great job with everything over there. I was really impressed. As I said, not not with the price, but then again, it is lobster, so I can't really complain about that. It's like driving in a painting right now. That's what I feel like I'm doing, driving through a painting. 
No, I didn't take any acid tonight. That's tomorrow night. I'm just kidding. That was yesterday. <laughs> I'm just joking. That's not, oh gosh. That choke was, I beat that one with a dead horse. Wait, wait. Wait, beat that one with a dead horse? Wait a minute, what's going on with me here? My mind is, I'm completely losing my mind. Oh my gosh, never mind. You don't beat something with the dead horse. <laughs> stuck out here in all this snow and then like thinking about the Donner party how they were stuck in way more snow man, I, man that would that'd be pretty scary guys that would be pretty scary Realize 
like uh, if we're like flat or sideways. Like, dude, it's just crazy. But I don't know where I'm at sometimes when it's snowing really, really, really heavy. I know approximately where I'm at, but sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes do I lose the exact, you know, coordinates of where I'm at. Um, and that's in, uh, you know, heavy snow. But, uh, hang on a second. I'm reading a message across my screen right now. No, I'm, well, I'm not really reading it, you guys. I'm watching the road. I really am. Just hang on a second. This, oh, 19 now. This is one of my favorite parts up here, actually. This is where all the different campgrounds are on the right and left, and it's just so much fun up here. So, and there's a lot of snow. This would be fun to, to do all these campgrounds with, with all this snow, but I don't think they do it with all the snow. I think it's more of a summertime thing. But it would be fun, because there's a lot of snow up here. snow anymore. It definitely was not my car. Someone was having issues coming down probably. Campsite, campground after campground. It's a 
great place, you guys. Great place for your families. But the reason you fill up your gas at the bottom of the hill when it's weather like this is in case you do get stuck, you have a full tank of gas to run your heater. After we pass through this, you see all these these yellow signs like telling you to slow down, we got some curves coming. Once we pass through this whole little area, it's about a mile and a half long. It's got a, probably five or six turns, left, right, left, right. And then uh, it's pretty much a straight away with three different passing areas from that point on to get up to the top. So we're about halfway to the top here. And then remember we have to come all the way back down. And the mountains we're looking at over there, those are the mountains that are like where like uh, Big Bear is on, on the other side. Snow Summit's right there. Bear Mountain's right there. On the other side though. Of that mountain though, that exact mountain. Looks like Denali <laughs> with trees. There was a video I saw in 2010 where they had the like it was like six feet of snow here, and some guys pulled over right here and shot a little a video of that right there, that mountain right there, and you couldn't see any of the trees, and it did look like Denali. It was crazy. This whole area looked. Like, like something you used, it, it looked even different than it does with snow. <laughs> because it had so much snow. Don't get sideways here, buddy. Don't get sideways. Alright. Over here, believe, even though there's snow there, there's still a little ditch there, too. So the snow's covering up the ditch, but your car's gonna go right through the snow. Right into the ditch. Whoa. There's two cars right there. Which leads me to believe the guy in the front has been very slow and not letting the guy behind him pass. That's what I'm figuring right now. But, what do I know? I'm just a, a big bear weather guy. I really love that. I can't get enough of it. So. Couple, oh no, here we go, we're at the bottom. Okay, so now we can go straight for the most part and the rest of the way. It's just a couple little tiny curves, but it's just a straight shot for the most part. Once we got through all that back there, now we're in the, the middle of the mountain range.
18. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get well below 12. I'm, I'm pretty sure when we get up to the top. Can you believe how fast we dropped in temps though? We were in the high 30s when we were at the bottom. We haven't been going too long. I think we've only been recording for 35 minutes. by Braille right now. Passing lanes. Once you get to these passing passing lanes, you know that you've uh, you're getting closer to the summit. I just want to get ahead of this guy. Trust me. Well, I can go around him, no problem. Not like that, because there's no traffic. But still. You guys are doing a kick butt job, man. I mean, look at these roads, they're fantastic. These guys are doing great to allow you guys to, have, to, to get up here and have a good time. So now it's, when it's gonna get a, a little more treacherous because of the cold temperatures and the moisture on the roads. So you just wanna be extra vigilant in this area as you climb. Truck, what I was thinking. Two poles in the road. 
single digits by the time we got to the top. I didn't think we would, but that's super cool. Perfect. Oh, it's 11 now, and he stopped in the... Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Give him a little thank you very much. Thank you, sir. 11 degrees. When it gets this cold, guys, be careful rolling down your windows um, when you have automatic windows because you can bust all the all the mechanics inside. Because uh, trust me, I did, it's 10 degrees now. I did it to my Mercedes. Three out of the four windows, pop, 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 one after the other. I couldn't believe it. And then it costs like 500 bucks to get that fixed. Yeah, so it's 10 degrees, guys. It's definitely gonna break down at the nine. Get down like nine or eight or seven even, if we're lucky. But we're almost to Onyx Summit, so I'm grateful that we got to 10, but we, I guarantee you we will get, get to nine. Come on, baby. right here oh, we just drove over oh it went up to 11 oh it made me look like a liar made me look like a liar at least we got to 10 I thought we'd break single digits break into single digits because we still had another few hundred feet to climb but nope 12 temperatures 15 it went up to 14 and 15 real quick these temperatures guys as I said when you see those wet spots be extremely careful with how bright it is outside look at 16 holy moly 17 wow it's climbing fast right here at the temp holy 18 we're at onyx summit now we're at the highest point 8443 feet 19 Unbelievable, guys. I can't believe it got so warm so quickly. 10 degrees in just like a minute. 9 degrees, sorry. I know it didn't get into the single digits. <laughs> so we're 
heading down now into Bear Valley. 20 degrees, man. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Bear Valley, man. And we'll keep this recording till we get to uh, Highway 38, which is what we're on. Highway 38 and Big Bear Boulevard. And then I'm gonna have to patch these videos together. This isn't going to be uploaded till maybe even like noon tomorrow, even if I get started on it right away. 21 degrees. Wow, it's climbing. Once we get back down into the valley, well, it's still going to climb because we're, we're, it's 22 now. We're descending quickly. But this side of the mountain range doesn't get, uh, like right where, where we're at, it's like a transitional area for the climate and like, uh, because of how the mountain range curves and stuff. So you'll, you'll get a lot of times where it'll be warmer up here than it is down there, or it'll be bitter cold up here. It's like both worlds, man. You get everything up here. Sometimes we'll have a bunch of snow in town and they won't have much here. Other times they'll have more snow up here than we do down there. But you would think because it's, you know, just about a couple thousand feet higher, than Big Bear Lake, you would think that uh, it would snow a lot more, but it's because of its location. 25 degrees, wow. Slow down. These wet patches are no, are no joke. I'm driving on the salt in the middle. feet elevation and going lower so the highest point that we reach temperature wise on the way down right here once we get into like the Big Bear City and Big Bear area the temperatures gonna start falling again it's pretty interesting so it's gonna like I don't know if it's gonna get any higher than 26 but it's gonna be lower than this or no They'll probably be close to this in Big Bear. Say, hey, did someone call the box? And then you get lit up. Temperature's starting to drop again. Anyway, I'm not going to focus on, on the, now it's back to 27. I'm not going to focus on the temperature anymore. Unless something dramatic happens. Really easy in this type of weather, but it really wasn't that difficult. 
even putting my my novice shoes on, it wasn't that difficult. But you're obviously gonna wanna go a lot slower. Or, you know, not necessarily, but you're probably gonna wanna go slower, especially if you're not familiar with the area. And then when you get to patches like this, these become a little bit nerve wracking. But you guys were worth this drive for sure. sucks I didn't get to eat in and out though I just didn't want to wait in that like 50 car line I swear it was like that long it went all the way to the end of the parking lot not just like the end of their their restaurant or, or, or whatever it went to the end of the parking lot and it's a huge shopping center with like Home Depot and all of that stuff so you can imagine at the end of the parking lot that's pretty far crazy how like just certain spots the temperature fluctuates so much 15 I said I wouldn't focus on it but it changed 10 degrees to, like quickly again drive I've ever made up the mountain. I'm telling you, it really was. We are in Big Bear City, elevation 7,000 feet. is that you guys it's 1500 feet higher there than it is right here we just passed Irwin Lake by the way if we would have made a right back there on State Lane we would be entering Irwin Lake but anyway we're getting close to the end of the drive you guys but I'm telling you man Hope you guys get get something out of it. Um, just to see, this is something I'm I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot tonight. Was a very rare situation, 
so I took advantage of it and helped you guys out a little bit more. Because I love you guys, man. So just stay safe. Stay safe. If we make a left here, this is Baldwin. That goes to, that's up to Sugarloaf. Instead of taking Maple, come around here on Highway 38 and take Baldwin up. Much safer. I took Maple down today. There was nothing, no ice, nothing. It was, it was nice, but it's not worth like risking it. Just always take Baldwin in this type of weather if you have any, any, you know, concerns about the ice and snow and stuff like that. As you guys know, Highway 38, and we're coming up to Big Bear Boulevard. That's why I'm gonna shut this off. But yeah, we're in Big Bear City, guys. The very end of Big Bear City. And we're gonna be driving through all of Big Bear City and Big Bear with a little tiny bit of Big Bear Lake to get home. Because we are in Big Bear Lake, that's where I live. So here we are, we're on Big Bear Boulevard. And here is Lippy's, Lippy's Country Store. Anyway, you guys take care, okay? Love you guys a lot. Hope you had a good, safe drive with me. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go into the parking lot for a minute and shut this off. Peace out, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, hope you see what it's like. It really wasn't that bad, you guys. It really wasn't that bad. So take care. Be safe out there. Have fun up here when you come up here.